Hello YouTube and everyone, we love wrestling back here, crazy ass videos, and another video that I don't normally do, and that is a trailer to a movie, the thoughts and reactions onto it, and it's video, it's video game related, so that's why I'm doing it, and my last one was Wreck-It Ralph, it's kind of video game related and everything, it actually was, but um, as for the title page, Resident Evil Retribution trailer and thoughts reactions, and now the trailer premiered today, this morning actually. Uh, before they uh, did, the, they showed the trailer. The, uh, they did a Q and A with Milia Jovovich. I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right. I apologize if, if I'm not. Milia Jovovich. They did a Q and A. Uh, I really dug it. It's really cool. I like stuff like that. I'm a huge geek for like information about movies and just stuff like that. But anyways. It's really surprising that the Resident Evil franchise has where, where it's, you know, is right now. It's been 10 years since the first one. It's really crazy, actually, almost. Or it actually has 9, 10 years, whatever. And whether you like these movies or not, if you like the games, I love, I, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I don't need to point that out. Everyone knows I'm a huge RE fan. Love the games a lot. Uh, I started with the first one, and my second, the second one is my favorite in the series. But anyways... But it is surprising that these games, I mean, these movies that are getting that big, you know, they said that in the Q&A, like, each, with each movie, they're getting bigger and bigger. And they have a cult following and everything like that. I mean, if you haven't played the games and you just like the movies, I highly recommend checking out the games, you know? You're not going to get much out of it by seeing the video game characters in the movies. You're going to be like, oh, whatever, who is that? Who is that character? You know, that's why I see these movies, because you see my favorite characters, like Leon... And obviously in Retribution here, Barry and Wesker, and Claire and Jill, just all that shit. And your favorite monsters and villains, all that stuff. The liquors, the zombie dogs, I guess, but mainly the, the liquors and everything. Just stuff like that. Just awesome. Obviously, you know you're going to see zombies when you go to a Resident Evil movie, so what the hell. But I'm kind of rambling on here and everything. But again, I'm going to point this out. It's These movies are huge. You know, they're doing a QA. With a lead actress, it's, it kind of reminds me of. Um, I gotta point this out. It reminds me of like a Bond movie. When a new Bond movie comes out, or when they're beginning to shoot it, they do a Q and A, and like, what's the movie gonna be about? When are they shoot? When are they gonna start shooting and all that? Like, it's really, really impressive. So, if you don't like these movies, then don't watch this video, and don't bother with anything related to it, <laughs> with the movies at all. So, just enjoy the games. But, uh, anyways, the trailer, man. It had me worried at the beginning of the trailer. I, I was really, really worried because it started off really, really cheesy. <laughs> and it starts off with Alice in, obviously, in Raccoon City in some suburb, neighborhood. Perfect little neighborhood, you know. She's sleeping, and there go, there's Carlos. She, he wakes her up. It's Carlos. That's, is that her husband? I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? I'm a little worried. I'm a little disappointed already at the beginning of the trailer. It kind of sucks. I'm really let down. And another thing they're, you know, doing... And she has a daughter. She has a daughter and her fucking husband is Carlos. And I'm like, fucking A. Um, uh, don't, don't forget, I'll post the link in the description. Uh, the trailer in the description if you haven't seen it yet. I'm sure you have. But anyways. Uh, yeah, husband. Carlos, if you don't know who Carl Carlos is, he's from Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the game. And he's been in the movie since Apocalypse and, and Extinction. And he died in Extinction, obviously, at the end of it. But it's like, what the fuck is he doing back here? Obviously, I went on IMDb and I was like, yes, he's on the cast list. But I'm like, what the fuck? I guess it's just a little scene or something. But then, in the trailer, they switch it on you. They, they're playing a trick on you. They're, they're trolling you. Uh, a zombie comes and attacks him and she runs out with her daughter... And everything's, you know, running up, running crazy. It's a mayhem and everything. But then they go, you hear, you hear like a voiceover going like, this is not real, this is not real. And then you see Ada. Awesome. They're showing more Ada stuff in the trailer, by the way. Really cool. Awesome casting with Ada. But then she goes like, this is imprinted memories. Implanted or imprinted memories. This is not real. So right when she said that, I'm like, oh, good. That's, this is some sort of like, hmm. Because obviously Alice was like a security at the Umbrella Corporation or whatever. And this is imprinted. It's something like that. I don't remember. But 
and that kind of saved the trailer right there. I was like, holy god. Uh, then they, obviously after that, they show Alice doing her normal thing, and or more action, and stuff blowing up, and uh, ships crashing, and it, just a bunch of crazy stuff. Just your normal Resident Evil stuff. Um, they they showed some new footage and everything like that with the Jill, like Jill stuff. Everyone's like, everyone is excited to see Jill. God, on the IMDb boards and every every forum I go on, everyone is just excited to see Jill, the evil Jill, you know, from Resident Evil Five. And I'm I'm excited too because she hasn't been in the movie since you know Apocalypse, but I'm kind of surprised actually she's back. But and it makes sense. They show more footage of her, and they show Leon. They show fucking Leon, the actor that plays Leon, and he looks really good. Again, good casting. Uh, I don't know if they show Barry. God, I should rewatch that trailer because I rewatched the trailer like five times. I know I'm obsessed, but yeah, I mean it's just really crazy. They just show you all the like they get it. They, that, that trailer was for the Resident Evil fans for the games because they really got like go see this movie. Your favorite characters are in it. Leon. Ada, Jill, all that stuff. You know, Wesker, they show Wesker, Wesker's back, which I'm surprised actually. You know, they're taking, like, what, you know, uh, they're, they're, like, it's supposed to be they're taking over the you know, major cities and countries and everything like that, like, uh, Russia or whatever. I don't know, they're just taking over all these major cities, and it's just insane. But at the end of Afterlife, people are like, you know, I sat with my friend, and he's like, where the fuck are they going with this? You know, where the hell are they going with this? And like, I kind of agree. Where are they going with this? You know, where can they? They're taking over the world. Umbrella's taking over the world. Um, world's ending. Zombies. Monsters. All that story, All that stuff, right? But, I wonder if they'll bring in the, um, the tri-cell stuff from 5. Now, I don't know if, I, I don't, you know that I don't. You guys that are, that, normally watch my videos know I don't like Resident Evil 5, but could they bring in Tricell in Resident Evil Retribution? I don't know. Could, Re could Umbrella fall fr finally in the movie universe, I mean? I used to say they're gone in the games and everything. They moved on from that, but can they? I hope they move on to Tricell. It'd be pretty cool just to move on to something else, you know, for Resident Evil 6 movie. And, but, yeah, I, I just hope they'd go somewhere with it. And, yeah. But again, on the, on the trailer, they showed more footage of, or yeah, they showed more footage of Michelle Rodriguez's character, Rain. She's back for some fucking reason. I don't know what the hell is that all about. She died in the first one, <laughs> ten years ago, and now she's back in this one. It's like, okay, maybe she's a clone. She could be a clone. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I really like her. She's an awesome actress and everything. And I also brought that. Colin, what's that guy's name from the first one? Uh, yeah. I forgot his name. Fucking A. He's the guy that died in the laser. He's one of the guys that died in the laser thing. In the first one, I, f I forgot. Yeah. He's back too, and they brought back all these fucking characters. It's just like a reunion, pretty much. And. Uh, what else am I forgetting in this trailer? I don't want to ramble on here too long here. Because it's just a trailer thoughts reaction video. But. I think I hit all the pointers on this, but obviously there'll be another trailer released, and the movie comes up September of this year. Uh, first I thought it was August or October, but no, it is September, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, uh, but yeah, I guess I'm done here talking about this movie and this trailer, so can't wait till it comes out, and um, again, this is kind of Resident Evil related to, uh, if you don't like the live action movies, go check out Resident Evil Degeneration, De and they're making a new Resident Evil movie, CGI movie, called Resident Evil Damnation. Hopefully show more information on that at Comic-Con, and a new trailer on that, and get some release date, a release date on the Blu-ray or whatever on that, because I really want to see that movie. Resident Evil Damnation, so. Uh, but I'm done talking about this trailer already, and I'm rambling on here, talking about different things, but I'll post the trailer in the description so you can see it. Take it easy, guys, and peace out. Bye.